Anjo here guys welcome back to Drew Tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you how easy it is to set a background image in your Google Doc. So once you're inside the Google Doc guys all you have to do is simply click on insert and then you have the option that says watermark. I know the typical watermark is just to have like a text stamp behind the document right to show some let's say ownership of that document and that's perfectly fine but you can tweak this up a bit and put an image there if you want it's not only writing right so you can simply go ahead and click on the watermark and from here instead of have the text that you can put there you simply click on image now once you do that you can simply go ahead and click on select once you have select you can do a bunch of things you can upload your own custom image you can also see whatever options you have here as well such as image if you have those upload already you can get something from your google drive if you have some image there and as you can see i have some image there that i can choose from or you can simply search google directly and you can just search for whatever image you want no i'm going to choose something from drive right so let's say i would like to use this image here right you see here i'm going to simply click on insert and you see that the image is no in the back. Now you might be wondering why my image look like that, which is perfectly fine because this is how you can add an image as a watermark as well in the background. It's because it is faded here on the right hand side. So if I uncheck this faded, you see that it's bright. No, you don't wanna do that if you want to add something over the image, such as words, typing, etc. It's always better to ensure that it's faded so that you still have the ability to write something on it and it looks like a typical watermark, right? Keep in mind that if the image, once you upload it, it doesn't have a really nice look to it, it might look like that, or depending on the style of image that you have, you might want to adjust the scale here. So you might want to fit it to something that you like, but once you find something that re actually fits the way you want, then you just go ahead and use that. Now I have it as auto 100% and it fits perfectly. And that's it guys, that's so easy. Once you're finished, you also can just simply click on done and that will be it. You can go ahead working with your document with your own image and that's it. Here you have it guys. I really hope you found value within this video. And if you do, don't forget to take a moment to give this video a like and hit that subscribe button so that you'll never miss out when I release future videos just like this one. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.